Okay. What we got? What do we got? Go back and talk. Sadwick! Shh! Did you see that just now? What? I think it's the Askew. He found me! Oh, that's nonsense. You really are the biggest coward I ever met. But they're here. I know for sure. I need to get away as quickly as possible. Oh, we'll be lost if the Askew get hold of the Whispering Stone. Please don't go yet. Say, about this Shana. Yes? What about her? Where can I find Shana again? All I know is that she's supposed to live somewhere nearby in a cabin. But we seem to be surrounded by nothing but forest, forest, and more forest. With the exception of those ruins to the west. Maybe you should have a look around that cave to the east, or that big tree to the south. I charted all those places on your map for you. Enough of Shauna. Let's talk about something else. As you wish. What else is on your mind? I discovered something in the ruins. Some kind of mechanism. A mechanism? I must have missed that. There was also a socket for a stone. A socket, you say? Was the royal insignia next to it? Yes. How did you know? Good grief, Sadwick. That must be the secret passage to Shauna's place. Unfortunately, though... It's locked tight. That's as may be, but we have the key. Those insignia locks used to be quite common throughout the whole kingdom. I'm sure the Whispering Stone will fit there. The Whispering Stone? Well then, what are we waiting for? Okay, I mean, no, wait. With all the excitement, I nearly forgot the Asgill. They mustn't find me at any cost. You can't be serious. But I am. I'd rather stay here. And give me the stone at least. I could go and talk to Shana alone. What? Impossible. I can't give you the Whispering Stone. The fate of the world depends on it. What if you make a mistake? Why don't you come with me? No, I already told you. The Asgill are somewhere nearby. In fact, I shouldn't even be here anymore. If you don't give me the Whispering Stone, I'll never be able to find Shana. You cannot have the Whispering Stone. It was entrusted to me alone. I promised not to pass it to anyone else. But you promised we'd go to Shana. That may be right, but... Then give me the stone. We're virtually a team now. Or did I not help you before? Well, you did. And on top of that, I have those visions. I'm sure they mean something. It can't just be a coincidence. Come on. Give me the stone and I'll find Shana. I'd be surprised if the Askill found you here that quickly. Uh, I know this is a mistake, but... All right, I will entrust the Whispering Stone to you. Thank you. You won't be sorry. Please, hurry, Sadwick, and guard that stone jealously. If something happens to it, we're all done for. Okay. We're all done for. Okay, so the Whispering Stone fits in the slot. No, the Whispering Stone is part of the mechanism. Mechanism? What? I knew it! It matches! Hey! What's happening? Well, the gate opened. Uh, an earthquake! The heck? Ah! Why is there electricity in a traveling trailer? Oh! Stone fell out. No! Stop it, Spot! Oh good, Spot. Spot had it. Spot ate it. What? What did you do now? You oh, saved dear. it! Oh dear. I'd better tell Bobby. Oh. What was that? We gotta tell Bobby. <laughs> Uh -oh. Bobby? Bobby? Hey, 
What happened here? Looks like there was some kind of fight. The Asker got Bobby. Oh dear. It's all my fault. How was it your fault? Oh, we got some stuff. Bombs? What? Uh-oh. Obviously, the Askill were heavily armed. Obviously. And I thought Bobby was just exaggerating. I hope he's all right. We'll yeah, just take those for later. Uh-oh. Obviously, the Askill were heavily armed. And I thought Bobby was just exaggerating. I hope he's all right. All right, now we have a knife. Back to the rooms. Uh, let's see. Let's try the knife on. Here we go. Ha! I knew it. There's an overgrown path leading deeper into the valley. Shana, I'm coming. Yay. How fast can a caterpillar run? Uh, okay, we have a bridge that just goes back. We have a door. Take a look at the door. Hey, who do we have here? What? Where? I don't see anything. There's a guy wearing a clown's costume. Huh? Don't try to pull my leg again. You know darn well I can't turn around. Who are you? We're rocks! Oh, is that so? Yeah, I'm Ralph, and the guy behind me is Ingo. He's my half-brother. Hey, I'm not your half-brother. I'm your full brother. Yeah, but we're two. And brother divided by two equals a half-brother. You sure about that? Of course. But I can check it again on my slide rule if you want me to. That'd be great. <laughs> yep, half-brother's all right. Although I got more brains and you got more rocks. Your slide rule tells you all that? Yeah, it's right here. Man, I'd love to take a look at it myself. Too bad I can't turn around. So what do rocks do for kicks all day long? What do you think we're doing? We do what most rocks do for kicks. We lie about and enjoy our simple lives. Which in Ingo's case is particularly simple. That sounds almost as boring as working in a circus. Why boring? We lie about enjoying the sun and don't get into harm's way. And we don't have any secret plans whatsoever, such as enslaving the world or anything like that. Ingo. What? That's enough. What did I do this time? You can't even keep the slightest thing to yourself. I didn't say anything, did I? I didn't say anything. It won't happen again. How could I have known there's a princess in that cage? Man, I'm really fed up with your excuses. <laughs> but you know very well that we need an accomplice for our plan. One with legs. But not such a greenhorn. Enslave the world? Sounds like a crackpot idea. A crackpot idea? And what would you call the decision to put on that hat this morning? Actually, I always sleep in my costume. You really are strange. Said the talking rock. <laughs> That's strange, said the talking rock. And how do you want to rule the world? How do you think? With a rock-hard fist. Right. Just for your information, I'm not a greenhorn. See? He's not a greenhorn. Of course he is. An exceptional greenhorn. All pets are greenhorns to you. Hang hey, <laughs> Peds. What's that over there? <laughs> what? Where? Looks like a lush meadow or a big tree frog. It's hard to say. It's shining so green. Come on. What is it? Hold on. I think it's... It's a... Yes, that's right. It's his horn. Are you finished yet? I plan to get a good share of abuse from other objects, too. A root, maybe. A heap of leaves. Oh, <laughs> you want to disagree, huh? You don't like being called a greenhorn. Oh, wow. You've read my mind. After all, the opinions of two rocks lying at the side of the road are of 
greatest importance to me. You could try to convince us otherwise. I'd be surprised if he could. We should at least give him a chance, Ralph. All right. I'll ask him the questions. Even though I'm sure he'll make a fool of himself. We'll see. Of course we will. He probably even thinks Shana is a mystical snake creature. But Ralph, Shana is a mystical snake creature. Nonsense. Shana's a bird, of course. You are wrong. Possibly. But I'm interested in what our Greenhorn thinks. Now then, who is Shana? I haven't got the faintest idea. That proves it. You are a useless Greenhorn. I always knew that. Shall I carry you someplace else for a change? Don't even think about it. We're not being pushed around by anyone. Well, I wouldn't mind being rotated a bit. I've been staring at that same rock over there for ages. Have you lost the little that's left of your dignity? We are rocks. We don't need any help. But, Ralph, that rock looks like a cow's behind. And that's not all. I've been lying on this pointed stick for years. I may be a rock, but I have feelings, too, you know. We don't let ourselves be carried around, and that's that. <laughs> Any idea where I could find Shana? Shana? She lives in that cabin over there. Uh, uh Ralph? Man, will she be pleased? Ralph? Uh, I think... She hasn't had any visitors for years. Hold on. What cabin? There's only a door. What? That's nonsense. No, Rob. He's right. Shanna's cabin is in ruins. Has been for a long time. But how did that happen? Remember that storm? Eight years, three months, and 25 days ago? Sure. I'm a rock. I never forget anything. In that case, you will also remember the earthquake the next day. Of course. That was the day my termite ranch was destroyed. Damn erosion. So the cabin fell victim to the earthquake? No. Termites! I should have known. <laughs> does that mean Shana doesn't live here anymore? Oh, no! She still lives here. She does? Yeah. In the cabin? Yeah. Of which only the door still remains. Now you get it. Oh, my. I'm getting that headache again. <laughs> See you later. Yeah. You know where to find us. We're not going anywhere. Man, can you imagine if they did take over the world? And this is where Shana is supposed to live? How is that possible? Oh, hello. Huh? How'd Where did that I happen? end up now? How is that possible? Shana? Okay, now we gotta look around. Oh, those notes. It would take hours to read them all. Oh no, hours to read them all. It would take hours to read them all. Come on. It would take hours to read them all. Then why are you allowing me to click on it? It would take hours to read them all. Really? It would take hours to read Just them all. Just take the note. You don't have to read it. It would take hours to read them all. It would take hours to read them all. It would take hours to read them all. Really? It would take hours to read them all. Shana doesn't seem to be home. I'd better not mess with Shauna's armchair. She might curse me with a blue pox if I do. The blue pox. Aha. Uh -huh. This is interesting. Uh oh, what'd I do?
What the heck? <gasps> Who summoned me? Oh, that... That was me, actually. He shall approach. I see only a child in the costume of a clown. I'm a... Carney. The Carney is lost. My name is Shadwick. And I'm not lost. I'm looking for Shana. I am Shana. Yeah, I... I already figured that. So... He's able to use his brain, then. And yet he's here, where he doesn't belong. He may speak, for the time being. What does he want from Shana? Who sent him? A uh, chasky called Bobby sent me. The clown speaks words of nonsense. The path of the chasky is a dangerous one. No Chasky would be so negligent of his honor as to abuse a useless child for his own purposes. Maybe I'm not as useless as I look. <laughs> he doubts the truth of his own words. How useful does he think he is? Well, it, it's true that I drop things quite frequently. I'm also not as strong and athletic as my brother. To be honest, there's nothing he couldn't do better than me, but... Enough! I've heard sufficient evidence. If this Chasky really exists, I want to talk to him in person. Why doesn't he come himself, instead of sending a useless child? He was attacked by the Asgill. Hmm. The Asgill have never advanced into the Autumn Forest before. Is the world in such a bad condition already? This is indeed disturbing news. What now? Can't you help him some way? If he really is a Chasky, he will be able to help himself. He told me you can interpret dreams. The Chasky neglected to give him an important piece of information. Shana only interprets dreams for important persons, not for clowns. My dreams are meaningful too. He is not in the position to decide that. All right. Then you tell me if they mean anything. After all, you're the expert, right? I am an oracle. I see things before they happen. I do not see me giving comfort to a clown that slept badly. I didn't come here as a clown. I'm helping Bobby carry out his mission. He even entrusted me with a whispering stone. What does he say now? The Whispering Stone is with us in the Autumn Forest. He shall show it to Shana. Well, I don't exactly have it on me right now. Miserable fool! The Whispering Stone is an important and powerful object. It shall be returned to the palace at once. What would happen if the Whispering Stone is not taken to Corona? The Whispering Stone is a powerful object. You said that already. While the Whispering Stone is not in its place in the Royal Palace, the equilibrium of the world is disturbed. This world will end. Like in my dream. A clown has dreamed of the end of the world. It was not a dream then. It was a vision. That... That's what I was trying to tell you the whole time. There are but a few people who can <laughs> so see the you in their dreams. I must discover more. I sense there is a mighty prophecy in this dream. So you're going to tell me what it means, right? Yes, but he won't be pleased. Is that part of the prophecy? Juggling with supernatural powers is not a circus act. He will hear things that were never meant for human ears. I hear Ben snoring every night. I don't shock easily anymore. The clown believes he cannot be shocked anymore. He is a fool. What gave me away? The baubles? He does not take Shauna seriously. It might be a mistake to reveal his fate to him. No, no. I'll be quiet already. I'm sorry. I'm just excited. Please go on. Very well. He shall give a full account of the details of his dream. Well, first there is this rocky landscape. Everything is destroyed.